Right, I think we are live. Let me check. Yes, hello, and we are live. It is Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis, and today I've got a very special mini that I'm going to be painting. This is called Nice Catch. Let me show you overhead here.
I have to figure one thing out. I'm going to try a different mic. All right, whoops. We don't want the light. We want this. Here we go. It's that mic. All right, I'm going to try this. We're going to try another mic. Are the mic connections okay because it started okay? It started okay? Like with, you could hear me? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, hey, you can hear me now. I see. There, test. Okay, we got it working. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put my music back on. Oh, that's so annoying. And I'm going to turn this back on. And I'm going to turn that volume down just a skosh because it's pretty loud. All right, hope, let, let me know if that's too loud. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Well, it wouldn't be a Shoshi stream if we didn't have one technical problem, and that's that's how I always do, right? All right, let's go back to painting. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can see my I can see my yay. I can work. Yeah, <laughs> now you're up again. All right, it's it is definitely my headset, and so we'll just have to watch it and be careful. All right, let me flip my thing back here. I'm gonna try one more thing. I don't know, okay, the mic works over here. What's happening? Okay, it's cause it's tangled. Let's see. Hello, test. 
No, no. Okay. I am going to give this a try very carefully. You're elated to catch a stream with the time difference. Okay. Tell you what. Yeah, I know my nerves. We are going to we're going to start painting right now. And I will hopefully not have to deal with the <laughs> hopefully not have to deal with the mic all this time. I know. All right, look at this. I just have to show this mini off. Okay, so you can hear, yes, you're right. What are we gonna do? Hold on, let me turn this music off. One second. I, I might be able to figure this out. So what happened was my husband created a new setting in OBS and it's only on this. I might be able to copy this thing and, and copy it, let's see. Because sometimes you can copy um, things and put them in the other properties. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Wow. Okay, so he's got L desktop audio device. And he's got that one. Yeah, this sucks. So I had him work on this, but he didn't think to put it in both. I think he thought it was going to work on both cameras. You're right, though. It is camera related. And I'm betting that you are, you are hearing me through my camera as well. Just copy and resize the windows. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I could do that either. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this source. Hold on one second. Channels requires a start. Uh, all right, let me go back to my muted one.
I'm going to try one more thing. I have another mic, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to try to use that other mic because the, that might be the mic that actually goes. Wait, now my head's in my, yeah, so that might actually be the mic that goes with. All right, give me one second. I'm so sorry. If this doesn't work out, I don't, I might be able to make this big. Hold on, let me try. Ah, I've never had this happen. Zoop. Okay, you guys want to do that? <laughs> this is so funny. Can you see that? We can work with that. Okay, do you want to do that? All right, you can see a little tiny piece. Hold on one second. Let me make that bigger. There we go. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna we're gonna be flexible. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm so sorry again. I think you can see at least now. Can you see? Yay, yes. <laughs> uh, it's crazy, but it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Hi, Matt. Okay, it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and spray this. I'm going to start out with a little black primer, and then I'm going to go over some of this with some white primer. Um, I'm going to leave the music off for now just because I feel like I've had enough to deal with. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just throw some of this black into my airbrush. Just a little bit. And get him all nice and sprayed. Let's see if I can put down some paper towel. Well, thank you for helping us figure that out, Meat Shield Maiden. You're the one that was inspiring me to fix it. So I just want a nice, thin, beautiful layer. We do not want to blast it because it will cover too much. And you can see the thin layer dries really fast. That's why I like. All right, we're going to be doing a zenithal prime. So there will be all the nice crevices and everything will be black. Only fair, you inspire me to paint. Aw, I love it. Well, we all help each other, right? I really wish I was more technically advanced, um, <laughs> but I am not. Give it another little, there we go. Oh, we're running out of black. Give it a little bit more. Just a smidge. Okay. There we go. So yes, this mini is a, once again sculpted by Furry and the Beast. And the box art was done by Mocha Minis. Alright, I think we're good. I think that is good. Now, I'm going to rinse out my brush a little bit and put some white in here. In a second. I like to use, here, I like to use these um, pop cans with the pop lids, and you just stick your brush in there. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll do the overhead. <laughs> I can't flip it back and forth. So I put my brush into this hole, and then I blow. Am I using Pro Acryl Primer? Yes, and it does compare really well with Steinol Res. I have to say that I like it as much as Steinol Res. It may be a smidge better. It might, but I, here's the thing. I'm not entirely convinced that it's not Steinol Res, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Who am I to say? But I do like it. It does work great. Um, I've never had a problem with it. I like the white as well. Do I have the Steinol Res white? Or the, sorry, the, uh, no, I don't have, I don't have the, um, the Pro Curl White yet, or if I do, I haven't, can't find it right now. But I have the Camo Green and I have the Black. And I'm just going to use Steinol Res White for now with the Mini. 
because that's what I can reach with my hands. All right, and it's all right if there's a smidge of black still left in this. There we go, that's good. All right, now, oh, we, this is not dry. We need to make sure this is bone dry. So I'm gonna mute. Pro curl easier to get here. Oh, that's good. That's really good to know. All right, he, hang on one second while I mute for for um, purpose this time. <laughs> Here we go. So I wanted to mention that um, some friend of mine mentioned that using a hairdryer on primed minis, even if you are already, um, you know, going to let it dry overnight or whatever, it's something about the heat kind of sets it and cures it. And so I was like, oh, okay. I don't know if that is really true, but I, you know, if it, anything that helps. All right, I'm just going to do an overhead blast with the airbrush. Oh, too much. So now I'm going to take my time a little bit more here. There we go. Yes. The reason why I'm kind of like hesitant and I, I don't want those spatters because white is a pain in the tuchus but Steinal Res white has always been good for me all right look at that he's beautiful wait we need a little bit more on his chin because he's got a very dark mouth Ta-da! Look how pretty. Let's get some brightness on his tail, because that's getting hit by all kinds of light. Let's get some on his back. Got great musculature in the back of this tail. Oop, I'm almost out of white. Okay, this is where I want to sit and doubt, because I don't want to see how I'm out. I don't want to spatter. Okay, now I need a brush. Clean out my airbrush. And I want to show you, I got some new products from Procryl. They got some new washes I've never tried. And I'm wondering if I should go ahead and give them a try this today. Let's see. So they have wash three washes that are brand new. And full disclosure, I am sponsored by Procryl. Um, so let's take a look. And I'm also sponsored by Redgrass Games, which is the one who makes this palette right here. All right, let's take a peek. Okay, I just found a nice mold line. No, what, we can turn that into scales. We can hide that. Let's see what I've got. I've got brown wash. That'll be nice. And then I also have a black wash. I'm going to test these out and see what these do. Black wash, and then I've got a flesh wash which is probably more of a, a reddish tone compared to the brown let's take a peek let's put it in our little wash pot here thing oh i gotta take this off let's see what how this works oh no yep there's always a little seal when they, when they mail them to keep them from leaking in everywhere Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that's a very pretty color. It's a very, um, what would I say, like a, um, brick red color almost. There we go. I'm curious. And then I have the brown. Let's do the brown. Ooh, okay, so very different. 
it's it's let's shake this because I feel like there's some sediment at the bottom ah. there we go there's a little shaker bead inside there as well oh yeah that's pretty Ooh, those together would look really cool all right I'm gonna do some experimenting here I have never used these products and I just want to see what I can do here with this because I want sort of this is the flesh wash that is already really pretty and what would happen if we use this as a paint right instead over that zenithal and we get this interesting look let's see all the washes are is paint thinned with some kind of medium you can paint with them I bet you didn't know that or maybe you did so it is nice because it is going into the crevices and defining a lot of the volumes for us we don't have to do a lot I'm gonna go ahead right over his necklace so obviously I'm not gonna get the same effect as mocha did but I'm gonna I'm trying something new I want to see what happens now he's Filipino so he is not going to have Caucasian skin and this this is actually this might work for some sh shading because I don't think it's gonna work great for the whole thing so because we can see all right you'll see I'm gonna blow dry this after I get all of everything covered and see how this dries on the model hopefully it won't be too sedimentary sedimentary all right let's give it a shot with the hair dryer I'm gonna check hold on one second All right, so there is definitely some pros and some cons to using this as the first step. You can see it is a little bit sedimentary right there. I am going to do a base coat of a completely different color now. I want something kind of, let's see. So he has like a tan skin tone which I don't even know if I have the correct color I'm gonna mix this color I'm gonna use a little bit of ochre and I need some kind of reddish or or actually I what I need is like a sepia kind of a here we go this like a sienna color I need this oh we're almost out there we go sienna and a little bit of brown brown dark okay this is called dark flesh I can probably use a little bit this has more red in it I don't know if I need very much Ooh, that's pretty don't need very much of that and then let's go with some dark umber as well I probably won't need hardly any of that because his skin is not that dark no I'm not gonna use that at all let's go with the light umber that actually is probably closer to a tan yeah now it's it's a very desaturated tan so let's see what we can do here let's mix I'm gonna mix this umber over here and then some of this ooh there we go that's pretty I'm gonna get some water a little bit more there we go tiny bit of this this is very orangey right now 
but when I highlight it, it might be a good base color. So I'm going to start with this color for the base. Bear with me. So let's see what happens with this um, shadowed color that's already there. I wonder if it's going to make a difference underneath. Because maybe it will, maybe it won't. He does have some little fishy scales on his stomach. We want to leave those to, to be a different color later. Oh, this is very pretty. This is a very pretty color. And we'll blend into I think this um so this wash that I put on down I think it actually is doing something it it kind of looks nice as a shade in there and maybe maybe when we put it in again the second time it will uh, continue to look good as a real shade for this paint not the uh, the white underneath so that's the thing about acrylic. So even though you won't be able to see it a lot, those little color differenti differ color differences they do show up some. I want to make sure to cover everything first and then we can start highlighting and shading after the fact. There we go. Yes. Beautiful coloring. All right, watch on the face. I'm going to be really careful. I don't want to cover his teeth, but we can go ahead and go over his eyes a little bit. A little bit of sepia. There we go. The sculptor did such a great job. I mean, the ears are just so well defined. Everything is really well defined. It just goes to show you like the sculptor knows what she's doing and knowing how to make what volumes the right size so that they're easy to see once they're printed and cast because even even the print is a tiny bit bigger than the cask right so that it fits All right almost done with the skin here or the first base coat anyway All right, that's good. Like I said, he's a little bit orange, but we're going to work on it because that's what it's all about, right? The, this is going to be me attempting to try to do something similar to what Mocha did. I'm going to be deconstructing what an amazing artist she is. Okay. So you can see the zenithal did make a difference in some places. You can... This face is a little patchy. I need a little bit more pigment. There we go. And my brush, you can see it's fraying a little bit. This is an old brush. Let me get a new brush. There we go. This is Rosemary Company. Very nice company. Quality brushes. All right, so while that is drying, I need to not touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and work on his tail for a minute so that way... I have something to work on while we are painting the rest of him. And I've got this jade color. And also, look at the colors here. They're, they're really going to be pretty together. Let's see. Here is a smidge of turquoise. It won't come out. <laughs> All right. 
what I should do is just, uh, what I'm going to do here is start with this base for this jade and blend it, blend it into his tail. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a funny color at first. Notice that I mixed a, a little bit of that base coat with it so that it really is a smooth transition. See, it just, it's just really, really calm, really nice. Now we add a little bit more to it. You can make it a little bit more turquoisey. See, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> so now I'm going to go back and blend. When I want to blend two colors together that are already wet on the model, I will do like, so here's my first color. Here's my second color. And then I want to wiggle both sides in between till I get sort of that mid, mid color to get the transition just like that that's what I was doing on his body only I went too far with that green is a very powerful color it's more powerful than that desaturated brown so here we go Blending it back in so I can grab some teal. There we go. Let's go with a little bit of this brown, a little bit of this ochre. I'm going to try to make, I need just a smidge of something to desaturate things um let's use this golden brown it's got a little bit of white in it it's different than the ochre the ochre is more pigmented than this now let's see yes let's see if that will make a good highlight feel free to ask me any questions if you have them There we go. And again, I'm just going over the volumes. Just giving little highlights. And when I need to blend into the base color, I will add more base to it. That, why does that have so much? It has so much yellow on my hand. There we go. There we go. Okay. This is this is this is the first time I've painted this model. So I have a good review for it so far. <laughs> you, as you should probably have a good review for your your own model, right? There we go. I'm going to add just a smidge of this dark flesh color under here to give me some contrasting color here. Let me grab this again. Underneath his his arms. I'm just adds just the tiniest amount of this green that was in his tail. And I'm going to use this as my shadow color right here. Might be too dark. It definitely got dark quick, but it, I like it, I think. There we go. A little bit more. And 
if you've watched me paint Caucasian skin, you've seen me paint with the more of the um, um, what color? The <laughs> ooh, that's pretty. You've seen me paint with the kind of olive colors for the shadows. I mixed a little bit of the base again so I can blend it so it's not so. There we go. Back to the base. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oops, missed some green. Once we get his tail, I'm going to start painting his tail now. I'm just using a thin, thin glaze of the, t of the paint that's in his tail just to see what happens when I cover it with just a thin amount. See how he looks? I'm going to check chat. Check chat. Nope, nobody's saying anything. Hopefully somebody's watching still. <laughs> All right. All right, I think I'm going to thin this out some more. It's better to do the thin coats now than to um, try to do thick coats and then try to, you know, paint later over a huge blobs of paint, right? Let's just do thin stuff, work it, work it up in intensity. And I'm going to go ahead and do this so I can get the shadows of his net. Okay. Beth Lou, are you still here? Hope you are. I'm going to feather the tail out here. Let me check chat on the other screen and maybe that's where it is. Okay. There we go. I like this um, sort of painterly approach. It gives it sort of a watery look also. I'm going to try to get that color into the net because of all of the little tiny squares. Now let's see what happens when I just wick my finger over the top of that. So here, just mesmerize. <laughs> good okay <laughs> well you know it's funny that it's been a minute since I painted in a while so I I feel a little rusty today but uh that could just be because of the technical difficulties that I've had so far all right beautiful so far let me go back here You can see that tan is really nice. And let me just compare this to Mocha. So you you can see I haven't added my highlights yet, but you can see the if you look at Squint and look at the shadows of her piece, it's not that it's not that different. So I'm gonna add some more of this. I think I'm gonna add an ivory color. Let me find one. Here we go. There's a bright ivory. If there's any left in the bottle here, maybe. Let's try this. Yes. Just a little bit. That's enough. <laughs> Some of my paints I need to replace. It's time. All right, so let's see what happens now 
we can make a lighter version of this color that will become our highlights. Now, this is where we have to be more careful. Ooh, that, see, that is very, that's very light. The other thing is, I really, I don't want him to get chalky. That's one thing I thought that was really amazing, that Mocha's, vis, her, um, hers wasn't chalky. And that's, you need to thin it out. That's why I think, make thin, thin glazes of the lighter color. Look at that. This is mostly water on my brush and just a little bit of this paint. See if I can get shoulders. Very nice. Okay, so now the face. This is this is going to be the trickiest part. We have a lot of light. Ooh. I need to go back down in a, in a vault. So yeah. So that's the thing is I'm looking at the values. And if the value, value is too bright, it will stand up too much. And you don't want it to look like it's, like he's glowing. All right, so like the forehead and the nose generally have the brightest, then the chin, and then the cheeks. And I'm gonna try to blend. I'm taking paint back off my brush by dabbing it on the paper towel and now I can blend it slow down to his face. Okay, grab water. And the trick is to just keep letting letting the paint dry completely between layers so that you don't get too much. I'm grabbing a little bit of this ivory. It's very, um, it's actually very luminous. So what I might try to do here, ooh, let's get some higher highlights. Try to make sure my brush is nice and pointed. Now what I, if I go too high and in, in, in like too bright, then what I can do is I can knock it back down with a wash or with, not with a wash, but with, with another darker glaze. He's looking a little chalky, so I do think we do need some, that means that we're going up too fast. We're going up too ha too fast. Where's my colors? There we go. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, there we go. So because we went up too bright, I'm gonna take this and a little water. This is the darker color that I just now mixed. And, oh, it's too yellow. Let's grab this brown. See, slowly blending that in. It's still looking chalky to me, but it's better than it. Let's see. Let me look at mochas. Again, I like to deconstruct. Yeah, she's so good. <laughs> All right. 
let's mix some of this green with some of this to make a nice deep dark color for the eyes this is going to be the socket of the eyes where we'll be plant we'll be painting the iris and the pupil later i'm going to go ahead and put this in his mouth as well because it's another nice dark color to put in the mouth Mix it again. It's a nice dark brown. And then I'm going to put just a smidge of this sienna. Let's go back to the ivory and see if I can paint some of his teeth. Now the sculpt actually has tiny little teeth, but this this mini is so small that if you're trying if you're gonna try to paint, let's start with a dark a darker or sorry yeah a darker color. We're gonna not go straight up to white. We're gonna use a little bit of the brown, the original brown, and mix it with the ivory. So it doesn't jump in in value so quickly. Okay, now we can go a little bit more, a little bit more ivory. And just like you would highlight any volume, just the very front part is going to have that brightness. Okay. Any thoughts so far? <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab some There we go. And a little bit of ivory. This is the kind of painting that I would actually really do best if I wasn't streaming um, because I can really put it up close to my face and see what I'm doing and blend it slow and careful. His face is really chalky up here. All right, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try... getting my highlights in here and then I'm going to try using the wash and see what happens. I need to let that dry completely before I touch it with the wash. I'm going to get some more ivory with the teeth. looks good okay let's do the same thing with the center of the eyes i didn't use the bright ivory i used a mix of the ivory and the original color that we mixed Whew. i do not have a steady of a hand as i once did gee all right let's see yeah i'm gonna have to go back over that part That's better. Now, let's get this wash and see what, what happens here. This is the brown, which we don't, uh, don't want the brown wash. I want this one, the flesh wash. We've got it in here, actually. What happens if I put this near the hairline? 
that actually does something. And I think I like it. Yep, that wash looks good so far. Let's see how it dries. Give me, it really smoothed out the shadows. Let me get this brown now for his eyes. This may not work. Try this. I'm going to try to put this on the top eyelid where it's being shadowed a little bit by his eyebrow. Nope. <laughs> Let's do it on the string of his necklace then and a little bit. Okay, so okay, I'm liking these washes. I think they're doing something. I'm happy with it so far. Things need to dry. Oh, don't taste those washes. <laughs> oh no. All right, hold on one sec. Let me look at, we've got a lot more creamy. Hold on, I need a different color here. I'm going to take a little bit of this to mix with my colors. Because I think it will desaturate it right. That's another paint I need to replace. <laughs> Let's do that. Yes, yes, there we go. Better, better, better. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, it just needed that little bit of peachy color in it so that it wasn't so yellow. Gives them a little bit of life. Let's see if we can blend this. Mocha is a blending queen, so that is not something I've ever been that great with, is blending. So we'll see. Ooh, that's too much, too much, too much. Much better. Let's get some of that peachy color in there. I'm going to go back to his face. Be really careful. So I did that wash, it actually did darken things a little bit. So now I'm trying to go back in and highlight again. Turn it. Let me get his top lip. This is a, a, some things I feel like I'm, I'm uh, like I need my best brushes to get some of the details here. There we go. There we go. He's showing up. Let that dry. He's still kind of the wrong color, but not quite yet. We're going to get... <laughs> I 
I just cannot get over how beautiful a job Mocha did. I'm going to grab some of this red wash again and see what happens over that. See if that can unchalkify it, if that's a word. Thin it out with my brush here. Just put it on. Now I'm mopping it off. And I think that worked really well. It's still too dark, but we're getting there. These little layers are going to make a big difference. Let's go on to his hair. I think I'm going to start with this darkest teal. Mix a little bit of this red color so I can get an even darker teal over here. Just like I did on the fins. While that other part is drying, let me get some of that and some of that. Ooh, my, uh, my, my guy is going to be a little bit different than Mocha's, maybe a little bit more dark colors. Who knows? Let's see. All right, there we go. I like that blend that went right into his hairline there. See how he's drying nice? When things are looking smooth, it's because of that wash. Even when I um, when I'm painting any kind of skin color and I want things to blend, I will often grab a wash of some kind that has a little bit of mattifying medium in it or something, because um, that is what kind of makes the eye blend. Get all the little cracks in his hair. I think I got it all. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, love him so much. Let me check chat real quick because I know you guys are watching. Washes take down the value quickly. Yeah, it does. It does. It takes it down. So it's okay if you like. That's why, like, I, you know, you've heard me say two steps up one step down or two yes two steps up in value so you're gonna go brighter at first see how I got a little green right there I'm wondering if I can paint that out or not yes good it's a little green but you know what he's a fantasy character he can have a little green on some places All right, let's add some this, 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 this. There we go. That did. That did knock the value down a lot. But it also smoothed things out a lot too which I'm not complaining about because I think that actually turned out good. Notice I'm only painting the front because that's the interesting part. <laughs> if I were painting this, you know, not on stream, I would definitely be painting the backs and stuff. All right, that's looking good, good, good. I'm going to try to thin this out. Hopefully it will not chalk up on me. Please don't chalk up on me.
when you see me tap on the model like that, it's usually me trying to get something to blend and dry at the same time without fighting me. All right, let's take a peek. It's getting there. It's getting there. My shadows are a little different than hers. Let's do a little bit of this. Maybe a little bit more ivory. That's bright. That might be too bright. Get his ears. Let me check and see what color she made his lips. She just put the tiniest amount of like a soft pinky peach. What color did she use? Maybe I might have to mix it from scratch. Let's see. Let's take a tiny bit of this pink. And it's just a smell. Yeah, that was it. It was like just the smallest amount. And that's not the right color. Nope. Let's see about this. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Still a little bit pink, but I can go back over it. Now, where else did she put some pink, pinks? She did put some pinks in his body as well. Just a little bit. To give him some... Let's try this. Some variant, very variants. There we go. You can see okay. All right, let's go ahead and highlight these scales a little bit. And let's go ahead and paint some other things on him, like these shark teeth. What color did she make hers? She made the, the rope dark, which was a good idea. And then we can make the teeth ivory or white. We'll see what they see how they look. Teeth of the Not bad. Okay, let's give him some eyes. Now her eyes are way more easy to see than mine. Let me see if I can't. Oh shoot. There's a little piece of dust right in the middle of his eye. Hold on one second. Let me dust that off. There. Okay. Oh yeah, that came out really good. I see I just kind of went over the inner eyelids to make those darker. I'm going to give him a little bit of 
turquoise on his eyebrows. Oops. I, I accidentally got some on the brow ridge. Not too difficult to clean up. There we go. A little bit more on this side. Yeah, that one was a little too watery. But we'll go ahead. So do you see where I put that bright color? I need to go back in here. Blend it in. Yay, he's turning out so nice so far. Give him a little bit more brightness on these little shark teeth. I don't want to draw your eye to them too much. So let's go back to his teeth. There we go. Okay, now his eyes. What I need is a black or, hmm, yeah, a black. We know how much you love to paint the back. Exactly. <laughs> Here's black. And I'm going to see if I have a smaller brush, maybe to paint the eyes. That's an itty bitty brush. Let's try it. Okay, I don't usually use small brushes, so this is going to be very tricky. That's the reason why I don't usually use small brushes, is because they usually don't flow real well. Might need, oh, I don't know if I need any flow aid yet or not. Well, that came out good. Okay, one eye down. Let's flip him under, over. Get the other eye so it's the same. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Okay, that's good enough. Oop. <laughs> and I just flooded his whole eye. <laughs> Which is okay. We'll just let it dry. We'll let it dry and start again. That's the trouble is that you want to be careful when you're painting not to flood a crevice. I'm going to take this black and underline his necklace so that it stands out a little bit better. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm so happy with this model. I mean, the angel was also an enjoyable to paint. Um, I just, yeah. They, see, I flooded his belly button now. Oh my goodness. Maybe this brush is... Not as iris, his uh, there we go. That's nice and bright. Now I need to do the other one again. Hmm, I'm just gonna leave it just in case. Let's go back to the black. Hopefully, I don't flood it, so I'm gonna do a little dab before I do anything. Whew. That's nice. Almost. Almost. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Do you see how I dabbed it on my finger before I touched him? Okay. He's a little bit... One eye is going one, in, one way and the other eye is going the other way a little bit. Alright, now that's actually... I like that. He looks so happy. Let me go into the corners of his mouth with this black.
Love it, love it, love it. Let me check hers. Yeah, it looks fine. Hers is so much smoother. Let's see. There we go. We're smoothing it out a little bit. What I did was I took a little bit of that wash and a little bit of that peach. All right, good, good, good. What do you think? Is that is that a decent enough tutorial? On now, Mocha is going to be doing a hopefully a handwritten recipe tutorial, so I might do this again with her to find out like what what colors she actually is, so I can get a more accurate than eyeballing it. Let me do this one last thing. So I can kind of smooth it in. There we go. That's better. Okay. I think I'm going to call it here. Tell me what you think. Just to give you an idea. Don't forget, you'll be able to order this Monday, October 10th from noon central until the 24th. So, yep, yep, yep. All right, thank you so much for putting up with my technical snafus. It's obviously it's not as smooth as Mocha's. This would take a lot more hours, but we did we just this is just us working on it for an hour. But it's a good way to kind of get a start, and then you can refine and perfect and add more better highlights and such. All right, thank you so much. I will leave you there. Bye guys. Have a good one. Ha, ha, ha.